The 2019 legislative session is underway in Carson City, and one major topic lawmakers will be focused on is education. Thanks for staying with us at 6.30. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Brian Loftus. I had the chance to sit down with CCSD Superintendent Dr. Jesus Chara. 8 News Now is the only local station he personally paid a visit to as we talked about the many, many issues he's working on during his first year at the helm of the district. Education is a huge focus for the Nevada legislature. Uh, Governor Sisolak, in his address to the state, asked for a 3% pay raise for state employees. That's the first in 12 years, and teachers are included. Uh, let's listen in to the governor. Legislators, I'm asking you to stand with me and stand with our educators by including them in the 3% pay raise for state employees for the first time in 12 years. Right now, too many teachers have been forced to dig into their own pockets to make sure their students have basic supplies like markers, pencils, and erasers. It's a beautiful sign of their commitment, but it's grossly unfair. The time for Band-Aids and short-term fixes is over. Let's talk about what that means, Dr. Jara, for teachers in terms of recruitment and retrench, uh, retention, that higher salary. What does it mean in nuts and bolts figures? Well, the, you know, I mean, the, first of all, let me just thank the governor and really in making that bold statement to, to go out and really support education mm -hmm. as one of his top priorities. And he was in my state of the schools address, which was great. Um, you know, it's a start because obviously when you look at you know teacher compensation but then also the critical pieces is, is the instructional materials the supplies the working conditions which is what i really call and, and consider a huge need for us for retention you know for making sure that our teachers are supported in in, in our classroom so which you know is something that we certainly need to provide opportunities for our educators here in in, in Clark County do you think it's a way to keep teachers from fleeing, from heading to California, from leaving after the statistical short duration, and keep them right here in CCSD? Absolutely, and actually, you know, I put out a survey to my staff, you know, all, all teachers and, and administrators, and I said, you know, what are your priorities in, leg you, you know, this legislative session? It's always good to hear from them individually. Our top three was uh, class size, instructional materials, and support, which is really some things that, you know, as you as noted there, the governor has mentioned in his state of the state. Let's get into something you and I have talked about before in previous interviews, the funding formula. Yeah. It's been around since 1967, 52 years. Uh, governor Sisolak also talked about that and uh, the need for that to change, to work with legislative leadership to review the Nevada plan. Uh, let's listen more on that topic from the governor. We have to make sure that our statewide funding formula is equitable for every student in every county. My recommended increase in funding for the new Nevada plan will increase the funding from $36 million per year to $70 million per year, meaning that an additional 28,200 at-risk students will receive the academic support that they need, deserve, no matter what school that they attend. Okay, 36 million up to 70 million per year. What specifically does that mean for students in CCSD? And is it enough? Well, is it enough? <laughs> That's a, that's a great question. Is it enough? Well, we need to, first of all, let's go back and say, you know, the increase is, is it's great. One of the things that you look at the Nevada plan, and it's some of the things that I've been talking about, you said 1967. I wasn't born in 1967. <laughs> so we're educating our kids with a plan and where we fund in this state, how we fund public schools with a formula that's outdated. So we need to really go in and, and address, and that to me, that is my number one priority in the school system. Our board of trustees as well is really addressing that funding formula formula because as you know um, you know it's it's something that we in, in Clark County have been really suffering when you look at it compared to other districts across the state so that is my number one issue number one core issue that we need to address now as, as the governor mentioned the increase in funding uh, to help more at-risk student absolutely you know our kids need extra resources and, and those are some of the things that I continue to talk about is really our weighted funding formula and how do we get to where the money follows the child that to me it's you know kids first and how do we get that money to support each individual student in all our schools kids first and also such a focus in our previous discussions on teachers right now ccsd at my last check has more than 400 open teaching positions you have a new pilot program offering an annual ten thousand dollar bonus to educators who are accepted to teach at eight underperforming ccsd middle schools now how does that uh, improve recruitment efforts and are there other similar initiatives forthcoming well forthcoming 
and I really, you know, I can't get you there uh, okay. to talk to you a little bit about actually, you know, the state and, and the legislature has some incentive where we've seen some dollars for some of the recruitment and retention. This, this was just really in a way that, you know, when the state released the eight middle schools that are, are targeted for the charter schools to open, I came in, in really high level conversations with CCEA and the, the administrators union and said, you know, let's come together with a pilot that we can look to see how we can you know bring in talent uh, or keep the talent that's in those schools because we have great teachers you know working in those schools so it's how do we incentivize them on a on a recruitment and retention but there also is a um, performance that we have included in there so it's a ten thousand dollars for recruitment and retention every year and if you're you show positive outcomes you'll get a five thousand dollar performance bonus for our teachers so we're really excited really initiative for those teachers uh, i mean that is like the anti-apathy right there in terms of you're going listen we want to reward the performance teachers are doing such great work in the classroom and this is a way to directly reward them absolutely and and it really it's it's a way that i say that we can compete um, you know, and that's what I said, you know, it was really compete with the charter schools. I don't, I don't have a problem competing. Let's come together and find our own solution to address it. You have set a very ambitious goal of being the most improved district in America in five years. We're going to address that coming up. First, though, we're going to send it back to the desk and to Christiane.